Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to install our first Shopify app using Laravel. So we will create a brand new Laravel app and then we will configure how we can install it in Shopify, access the API and everything else. So let's start. In this video series, I'm going to use a Laravel package called uh, Laravel Shopify, which is nice. It is going to save you hours and hours of development. So if you use this package, it is all also under development so they are actively bringing update but currently it is working just fine with any laravel apps there are so many people using it in production it will handle a lot of your coding like it will add it will handle let's say billing it will handle the shopify authentication it will handle accessing api using graphql or any other services like that so let's start installing this one the only things that difficult about this uh packages the documentation so it will be a little hard but i'm trying to explain it um, in a way you should understand it so if you come here it has a sidebar that will explain you everything here now these are not in order sometimes you have to click on another step to find what you exactly want so first of all let's install a laravel app so if i come to the terminal i am in a folder called laravel so i will create a laravel application so laravel is already installed in my system i will say laravel new and then i will give it a name for my app so how about if i give it wishlist hyphen inspire so it should be a unique name but um, of course you can give it any name you want so it should be an inspire so just a little spelling now if you click install it should install it for me so on mac it is going to be fast but this is how you can install the package so i'm going to copy the composer required and after this one you have to publish your packages i will go step by step based on the documentation and if i get any error i will explain you how you can fix it because obviously it is going to throw some error for me so now i will come here it is done now i will cd to the directory i want to i install it so it was wishlist inspire so i will go here in the directory and now i will paste the code to install the laravel shopify this video might be a little long but you have to be a little patient because installing a package in laravel will take some time especially if you are using windows so it will take some time now after doing that you can come here copy this one the artisan comment coming back to terminal the package should be installed now i'll we'll paste the the command to install and publish the configuration for the laravel shopify so if you click on this one it's going to create a file for you in the directory so i will open the same directory in visual studio code to see what are the apps installed here so if i open the config file here you have a file called shopify app.php this is the package file so the package is going to add this file for you and now everything is working fine also i will add a um, get repository here so i will say this is initial commit although it is not the initial commit so i install the app so it is fine because i am going to push the source code to github so you can see for any changes which is different from your code than mine so if i come to my um, documentation here again you can read through everything here but these are the things you have to know essentially these are the variables you have to change the app name the api key the api secret and the scopes i will explain everything app name of course it is easy but what is the api and secret these are the one you have to generate from shopify so let's generate them and i will talk about the scope after that so if i come to the shopify store you know it is a partner account and this is a test account so i'm going to use a shopify partner test account here it is not test it is a real shopify partner but these are the, the apps that are for testing so you can create any shopify partner account which is completely free if you already know if you have watched my previous videos you know how to do that one so i will create a new app here from the apps tab here now here it is going to ask you which type of app you want to make is this a custom app or a public app you always select public app because you are going to sell your app to shopify store these are the thing you have to know if you select the custom app still you can develop your app but you cannot sell it somewhere else unless you are developing for a specific customer 
which you the Shopify developer also have to review it and approve it so now you come here you are going to give it a name now uh, what is the app URL for you now the app URL is very important for me it is easy because uh, as I said I am using Laravel Valley so if I come here what was the the folder name we had it was wishlist hyphen inspire.test if I run this one it should run my Laravel app here so I will copy the same thing and I will come to the Shopify store here for now I will paste it here and I will also say it is going to run on HTTPS so that's fine and for the wish to for the whitelist redirect you have to add the same thing slash authentication so this is what you are going to add here so you can copy this one you will paste it here this is what you are going to add so it is fine but you know our app does not have a HTTPS it is not secure in Laravel it is easy you will come to your directory here and you are going to say uh, valet secure if you run this one it is going to ask for your password so if you enter your password correctly it is going to secure this directory for you it will restart the nginx and uh, as you may know this laravel valley is using ngrock so if you know how ngrock is going to work you know how to add this on windows too so if you can install this one on windows and it should work just fine so then i think laravel valley is working with ngrock also so if i refresh this page now as you can see it is secure with a lock here so it is going to be secure for me now it is fine here everything now just create the app so once you create the app it is going to let you uh, create the api secret and key so this is the api key and this is the secret so you can copy them and use them now the thing is if i come to my laravel app here where you store those files those are these are all the settings you have in this file but it always access it from the env env is the file we have so if i come to my file in the home directory you know you have a env folder here so i would always store them here laravel debug i'm not going to store that one here but for the rest of it i will come to the config and copy them what are the rest of it only the app name api and the secret so i will store only those one because in the future it will be easy for you to update or push it somewhere alive so i will paste it here and the rest of it so this is all i need for now the api and the secret so i will come here to my shopify app here i will copy the api key and i'll paste it here so by the time you watch this video i will already delete this app so make sure you do not use this one i will copy the secret and paste it here once you paste that you can save the changes and you are all good to go so what is the api scope here it can be also stored in the env file i'm not going to do that one so api scope is basically the access request you will have to ask for the store that is installing your app for example when someone install your app in the store which data you want to uh, access so it will ask the user this app is going to access this data and then in the api you will have access only to those data so you can read product you can write product you can do any other also so the whole list of it is going to be available if you search for shopify scopes now you will come to the admin scope here it is going to list all of these things here so of course you are going to read the and write the theme so you are going to add those one also here so you put comma and these are going to be the things that i need So that's it for me i'm not going to add more of it so i just need to read customer read orders so that's it i will save it for now and now your app is ready to go except for the fact that you have to do some other configuration also which is the database here and i'm going to say 
the username is root and the password is 1234 as an example so and the database is going to be uh, wishlist in spy so I'm going to add a database using SQL Pro here in SQL Pro you can come to the choose database if you do not have a database you can add one so just give it a name and for me it was the wishlist inspired so I will create the name here and it will add a database for me now it does not have any table so it is just fine now everything looks fine to me I will save this file and as you can see everything is working just fine here now I will come back to the documentation here what is the next step these are all have to be done here done and all you have to do is add this one to your route file also so I'll, I'll copy this one and I'll come here search for the web and just replace this one with the new route it, this route is going to have a middleware so middleware is like a wall around your route so it will have the auth Shopify which is by the app and it will require you to be authenticated and then you will have access to the store information so it is easy stuff here and next up this is what your template uh, master template should look like so I'll copy this one the documentation is very clean so you can use that one of course you can open the welcome.blade here and I will paste everything here it is going to extend the Shopify app layout I will show you how you can modify that in the future videos but for now it is just fine and everything else is fine except adding these ones also so you will open the user.php and import these classes also it is going to require you to implement the is shop model so all you have to do is replace this one with the extent of authenticable as well as the is shop model and finally use shopable shop model not shopable so this is the complete uh, class that the user class the complete look of it so this is just fine for now you don't have to worry about job or any other things next up you have to migrate your data now if you come here you copy this one let's migrate it and see if everything is working fine I'll come to the terminal clear everything let's make it full screen and now I will paste the code so let's run it and it is going to say unable to publish resource it is fine but it did migrate everything for me now if I come to my app here I will show you what are those examples now if I run my my app here so as you can see the login screen looks like this because the app we have installed now all you have to do is enter your shop uh, URL here it will install this app to that shop so let us do that now and I'm going to come here also there are other options also you can test it on a development store from here if I come let's do it from here so it will require you to select a store from here I will say uh, code inspire div which is a store I have here I'll click on that it is going to install my app and let's see if it threw an error so I hope it threw an error so I can fix it for you if not then everything is working fine yes everything was fine good yes this is the step where a scope is like asking I need to manage the product I need to view the orders view the customer and manage online store here is where you can modify the theme changes so now you can install this is going to give you a warning that this is not a listed app of course it is my personal app so you can install it and after a few seconds it will redirect you to the page and voila here is your app and what is this coming from this is coming from the welcome.blade.php you are and this is going to tell you the user and all the data here now if I, if I come to the SQL Pro I will refresh my database here check out the user this is the okay if I come to the content this is the first store I have here this is the password and this is the created and everything is working fine now I have installed my app if I come to the app list here this is the store I have this is the wish list in Spy. so I can open this one and everything is working fine so I hope yours work the same way if you have any question you can ask below this video but do not send me a direct email if things does not work because if I spend time 
answering those email it will take a lot of time then i will not have time to uh, create more content so i hope it has been informative thank you for watching in the next video i will customize the app and how you can add icons change some of the stuff here so thank you for watching i will see you in the next video